Hi, everybody. My name is Allison Bornstein, and I'm a stylist based here in New York. And I'm very excited to be back here on Saks Live. Um, similar to before, I will be talking about the pieces and trying them on. So feel free to ask questions, and I will answer them as I'm trying. I'll feel, um, you know, I'll try my best to answer as I go. But if not, feel free to DM me. OK. So last time, I talked about fall accessories, which I think you can still watch on Saks.com. And this time, I am very excited to talk about my absolute favorite category, which is outerwear. So jackets, blazers, my fave, and coats. All of it. Love it. So sometimes I actually make fun of myself because I feel like every time I want to make a look feel more polished or any time a client says, like, how do I make something feel put together? My answer is always put on a blazer. Because I think what it is is just like a great piece of outerwear, like an amazing blazer or a chic coat. It can just give that polished look that really completes the outfit and just makes everything feel just like a bit more styled and done. So since we're now gearing up for a little bit of cold weather here in New York, um, I wanted to take you through some of my favorite outerwear pieces from Saks and show you how to style them and, you know, just a variety of ways to style one piece. So I pulled some really great pieces from Saks.com. I'm going to show you how to style them. But also keep in mind that you can shop your closet and you can kind of use these styling tips with things that you have as well. So if you watched my last live session, you will recognize this color palette and this sort of vibe because as much as I try, I love a neutral and sometimes I try to branch out, but this really, this is like my safe space. And what I really love is I love to create looks that feel interesting and layered just by using kind of neutral colors and just kind of really relying on like texture and shape and proportion. So that's what we're going to do now. So... Um, I want to talk about a few different categories. So first, we're going to talk about jackets, aka blazers, aka what I call like the indoor layer. And then second, we're going to talk about overcoats. Third, we will talk about a classic or investment coat. And then last, we'll talk about statement coats, which I am very excited for. And if you can see the rack, I'm sure you can guess which one is my statement coat. So let's start with jackets and overcoats, because those kind of go hand in hand. So. Like I mentioned before, a jacket is really just like a foolproof way to make a look feel styled and to make a look feel super chic. So for me in the winter, living in New York, I still want to wear a jacket. I want to wear a blazer, but I have to wear something else or else I'll be freezing. So often it's too cold to just wear the blazer. And so I will wear what I like to call an indoor jacket and an outdoor jacket. So the indoor jacket is the blazer and the outdoor jacket is the overcoat. So. Let's start here with what I'm wearing right now. I right now have on this amazing totem um, brownish turtleneck. And I have this with jeans, which is kind of like the turtleneck and jeans is what I call my base layer. So the base layer is just kind of like the first thing that you put on before you style it up. So, you know, jeans and a t-shirt, jeans and a tank top, jeans and a sweater. That's like your base. That's my base layer. So next I have on this amazing faux leather Nanushka blazer in this brown color, which I love. And I like that it's creating a tonal look ooh, by um, having the brown tones together. So I feel like this is this right here is a great look for going to the office, for getting dinner, for getting drinks with friends. But once it gets cold, we still need a jacket. So this is where the overcoat or the outdoor coat comes in. And that is basically just a coat that's big enough to fit over another jacket, like a blazer or even like a chunky sweater, which I'll get into after. So I'm going to throw on this. Mm. beautiful totem robe style coat. I'm just going to put the microphone down and put it on really quickly. Okay, so we have all the beautiful textures here. We have like the brown amazing knit. We have the leather and then we have this amazing cashmere coat. And what I love about this coat is just like super luxe. It's really neutral. You can put it over a denim jacket or a leather jacket or like I said, a big chunky. Just it gives great texture. It just makes the look feel really rich. And I also just want to point out that it's it's nice to mix these kind of similar colors and textures, um, like all the browns. They don't have to match exactly. It's actually nice that they don't match exactly. And I also want to point out, I'm still wearing my black boots. These boots are from Stodd. 
Um, and you can also mix brown with black and camel. It doesn't have to, just because you're wearing like a brown coat or a brown sweater, you don't have to have brown boots too. So I feel like this looks really nice. I'm even going to grab this black bag, kind of maybe to tie in the black boots. And it's great. So also when we're talking about like an overcoat, I want to talk a little bit about the sizing. So I feel like a lot of clients will, sorry, I feel like a lot of clients will ask, um, you know, if I want to wear a coat over a blazer, should I size up? And the answer is that it actually depends. So for example, this totem coat is made to be really um, oversized and big. So I took my normal size. I actually think I could even go a size down because it is like really, um, you know, really flowy and kind of oversized. It's made to be kind of cozy. Um, however, if it's something that is more structured or that is made to be more fitted, then I think that, that, that you can go up a size or two just to make sure that it kind of can fit over your jacket or your blazer. So when you're looking for an overcoat, I think you should be looking for something that is a little bit wider. So you can fit a jacket or a chunky knit or multiple layers under. It doesn't necessarily have to be like wide like in an unflattering way, but just something that's like a little bit more flowy, like a little bit more fluid. I think it should also be longer than your normal jackets. So when you're looking for an overcoat, I think it's nice when the jacket is shorter than the coat. So I always like an overcoat that's kind of like at the knee, um, thigh, or maybe even like long. Like this one's really long to the ground. Also, go for something that is rich in texture because I feel like that just always looks nice. Like, for example, if I was wearing like sweats and I threw this uh, totem jacket over, it, um, it would just look expensive, you know? Like a picture even just like a pair of leggings and like a, a black hoodie and white sneakers with this coat, like you, it just like, it automatically elevates, which I love. So I like that this, another thing I like about this coat is that it's camel and I feel like it just like adds that lightness. And I am going to, hang on, I'm gonna do another look. So I'm putting this down. So I just put on this uh, little Theory cashmere knit t-shirt, and now I'm going to throw on this Stella McCartney blazer, this one, which is so beautiful. Hang on, I'm going to put it on. Okay. Okay, sorry. So... Now, I feel like this looks really good too. I just sort of wanted to show um, how you can just really mix like the textures here. And I love the idea of mixing this kind of, um, this really pretty check blazer with the black underlayer and then the camel coat. Sorry, hang on. This little, yeah, got the tie. Okay, I would even style this. I would do this with this amazing dark green Bag. I feel like this looks really nice. I love a bag like this. I love a um, classic bag in a color that is, I kind of call it like a non-color color. So like a dark red or this amazing green or a navy or just a color that is not black, but that goes with everything. Because as you can see like this, you know, black would look great, but I feel like this just, it elevates it. I think it just kind of gives it like a little something else, you know, which I really enjoy. I think this is, well, We'll link it, but I think it's from the row. Amazing. Um, and speaking of navy, I also just want to show that you can do all dark colors under the camel coat. It doesn't have to be a super tonal look. So really quick, I'm just going to change my blazer and then put the jacket back on. One sec. question. Sorry, I'm having a hard time with the microphone. Um, what is an essential jacket for New York City? I think that a, like an, an overcoat, like something like this totem one, or just something that you can like really throw on with anything and just makes your look feel elevated. I feel like that's kind of the key because I feel like in New York, we do a million things in a day. We'll go work out, we'll go to work, we'll go to drinks. It's like just a coat that I feel like you can wear with everything and that just elevates elevates your look, you know? I feel like that's kind of the essential coat for me. And 
This totem one's really amazing. I'm gonna show you some other ones that are really good too. Um, okay, one sec, I'm just gonna put on this darker. <laughs> So basically I just wanted to show that like, again, you don't have to go tonal with it. It can be like an all dark base and then you just throw the light coat over. And again, it just like, it feels like yummy. It feels luxe, it feels rich. And I just, I really like it. I like the contrast of the dark with the light. One what else would be very cute. What would be very cute is to put this Python bag. And honestly, sorry. Like this is great. I feel like this ties in the camel, but then we still have sort of like the dark, the dark base. Um, I feel like Python and like animal print, leopard, all that, it sort of does the same thing as the green bag. It goes with everything, but it just, it elevates it a bit more than a, like a solid black color. You know what I mean? It like, I feel like even this bag, I mean, this would look, sorry. <laughs> This would look amazing also with this. Like it, ju it just kind of, it goes with everything. I mean, it pretty much just goes with everything on the rack, maybe not that crazy one. And just makes everything feel just like a little bit more interesting, you know? Um, okay, so next I want to, well, also I wanna say this. So over, like just because it's an overcoat, you don't necessarily have to wear a jacket under, but I just, I sort of like that it's big and that it works really well when you want to style it with a chunky knit. I was gonna try this on, but I kind of feel like maybe it's a little too annoying, but you know when you're wearing like a really chunky, chunky knit sweater and then you feel like you're, sometimes if you wear like a fitted jacket, it's kind of like, eh, you know, like a little restrictive. I feel like that's another reason that I love an overcoat. I love that you can just do like a big chunky sweater. It just feels luxe, it feels great. I mean, this looks really amazing with gray. I feel like, you know what, camel is actually similar to what I was talking about with the animal print and with the green bag. It's just like, it's it's classic, but it's a little bit more unexpected than black, for example. Um, but yeah, I love that with this. And I also, I love like camel with like a blue. Like this looks really nice too. But anyway, okay, I'm getting, I'm, uh, yeah. Okay, so speaking of, speaking of the black, I also pulled a similar, if you are more of a black, um, if you prefer more of a, like a black color palette. I pulled this totem coat too, which I really like. This one has the toggles and I feel like, ooh, okay, wait, I have an idea. Oh no, I don't have enough hands. Okay, so I feel like this totem coat would look so good with this chunky totem sweater. Hang on. And these leather pants. Okay, I, Okay, I'm gonna put these down and I'm gonna talk about these leather pants. <laughs> Sorry guys, okay. I put these on my rack not because I'm gonna wear, not because I'm gonna change into them because I don't wanna take off my pants right now, but I put them on because I tried them on yesterday and they are so good and I just want everybody to know about them. They're by the brand LVIR and they are just like these paper thin faux leather pants that like, they're not too high-waisted, but they're, I mean, they're pretty good rise and they're like a wide leg, they're very cute. But this would look amazing with that toe chum jacket. With this toe chum jacket, just kind of wanted to shout out those pants because I love them. Okay, so next, the next kind of category I wanna talk about is an investment coat or a classic coat. And when I say investment, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to invest money in it. I feel like it's more of like investing time. So this is a coat that feels super classic that you'll wanna wear for the next 10 years, okay? So it can be, it can be something super fancy or it can be something inexpensive, but it's just something that like feels classic. It's just, it's your, it's your timeless coat. So, um, I feel like to be a timeless coat or to be like a classic coat, it should have a timeless shape. So I usually like something that's maybe like a little bit more menswear inspired or it's just something that doesn't feel too trendy. Um, it should also be warm because of course it has to be functional. And then also I feel like it should have something interesting that adds like a little something extra to the look. So maybe for example, that's like an interesting texture or a color that's slightly off. So I am excited to show. <laughs> 
this one from the row, which is basically my dream coat. Um, you can throw this on literally anything and it will look expensive. I mean, it is expensive, but it is just like, it's gorgeous. And this is, this kind of has all of the makings of a timeless coat that I was talking about. So it has a classic shape, you know, it's just like a, a you know, classic menswear shape. It is um, warm and also it has like this slightly off color and I like that it has this kind of moss color and it does the same thing as I was talking about before with the bags in the sense that it's kind of like a non-color color. So it goes with everything but it still gives a little something extra. Um, like for example, it could go amazing with that totem turtleneck I was wearing in the beginning, that brown. It could go with this, it could even go with this blue. Um, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't clash. It just kind of gives like an extra something. And I'm gonna put it on really quickly because I love it and I want it on my body. One second. Okay, sorry, I just gotta get on the mic. We got a question. Can you wear white pants in the fall slash winter? Yes, actually I had, I was gonna wear a pair of white jeans with all of these looks just to kind of prove that point. I love a white jean in the fall winter, especially when you're mixing it with like these rich textures and like these thicker um, knits. Like for example, yeah, here they are. I'm not even lying. So um, these white jeans, like they look excellent with, I mean with that totem coat that I was wearing before. Literally looks good with everything. And actually I feel like it's a little bit more unexpected than a pair of black jeans or a pair of blue jeans because it, it just makes everything feel fresh. So the answer is yes. Also, one more thing. I love a white, a pair of white jeans with like a like a chunky black boot. I feel like it just like really grounds it. Like for example, my dream look would be these totem white jeans, these stud black boots that I'm wearing, this really nice chunky black turtleneck, and then this totem coat. Like I feel like that is just like it's like kind of, it's all neutral. It's pretty much mostly all black, but just the white jeans just make it feel really unexpected. Okay, sorry, I'm changing now. One second. I just wanted to get this coat on my um, body because it's, gorgeous and I just wanted to show you how beautiful it is how nice the color is let's sorry get that tag back there it just it's so refined it's so elegant and it really is timeless like I could see myself wearing this in 10 years but I would still be excited about it it's not something that it's like so classic that it's boring I feel like that's also the important part of an investment coat it it needs to be classic and timeless but it has to have something that still excites you and for me this is really exciting I also want to do one more thing one second So just wanted to show like if you're wearing a hoodie or something that maybe feels like a little bit more relaxed or a little bit more sporty and you put on this jacket from the row hang on let me just get myself together okay yes okay so you put on this jacket from the row you put it over like a hoodie or a sweatshirt or anything and it really it like feels like black tie it feels so dressy and so nice but just like still easy and chill and I just really I like that it just gives a nice level of refinement I mean this is so cute sorry I would do it with this oh okay well I feel like it would look amazing with kind of something like a little python -y. I also think I mean obviously black is always great um I I kind of think it goes with everything oh I don't have it here but I can picture it with like a suede like a brown suede bag I feel like that would look really really pretty and very rich um Okay, I'm just gonna do one more thing very, yeah, I'm just gonna try and one more sweater, so one sec. Coats for people that are a little bit shorter, that was the question. Um, I think that you can still kind of do that overcoat thing, but I do agree it might be like a little bit, um, 
it might just be a little bit uh, overwhelming. So I think that you can do like maybe like a robe style coat that's just a bit shorter. That's something that maybe hits like at the thigh. Um, what else are good for more petite women? Um, basically, just I feel like just basically something that is like a little bit shorter. So nothing that goes down all the way to the floor. Although I don't mind when something goes down all the way to the floor, but I feel like some petite women feel like it kind of can um, can drown them out a little bit. But I yeah, I feel like usually just kind of look. You can you we can wear all those same things, but just look for something a little shorter, or you can get it hemmed a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna do one more look with this uh, row coat. Right now, I'm just wearing, like, this is honestly, if I'm being very real, this is probably, like, what I would actually wear in the winter. I've, I'm always wearing just kind of, like, a gray or black sweater and a pair of high-waisted jeans, a pair of black boots. But then, like, look at what happens when I add on this jacket. It just, it really does feel, like, a lot fancier and a lot more chic. And I feel like that, like, even with a white bag, this would be really cute. Right? Very cute. Um... But yeah, so this is just kind of, this is an investment coat that I can really, really get behind. Okay, next I'm gonna talk about another investment coat. So one sec, I'm just gonna take this off. Oh my God, sorry about this microphone. Um, okay, so a, an investment coat can also be something that is a little bit more fun. It doesn't have to be something so classic. So for example, I kind of feel like, well, I have a few things I wanna say, but I feel like this, for example, this Lulu Studio coat, to me, this is also a classic. Like I could see myself wearing this for another 20 years. It's really nice. It's leather. It has shearling on the inside. It's really pretty. It's almost like a future, a future vintage. It has like the makings of a classic and it has a timeless shape, as you can see. Um, it's simple, it's warm, and it has an interesting element because of the texture. So let's say for example, oh, wait, I'm gonna put it on one second. This coat is really nice. Okay, so let's say that you're somebody, for example, who loves black and who wears a lot of black and, you know, kind of has a hard time branching out. I feel like what you should do in that sense is get a jacket that is black but has texture. So I think it's nice to wear all one color, but it's just, it's the texture and the proportion that keeps it from, from being boring. So for example, let's say we're doing a black sweater, jeans, this, this jacket just like gives an interesting shape. It gives an interesting texture. I would even maybe do it with this bag, which also is another interesting texture. It's just kind of like all about proportions and having things that feel really simple. Like for example, like a black leather bag or a black leather coat, but just like with an interesting texture and a proportion. So I feel like this is a real classic coat too. And actually, I also think that um, all of those, all of my, um, oh, they're, they're on the um, chair now. But I feel like all the ones that we talked about for the overcoat, so for example, those totem ones, those are also what I would call an investment coat too. Those are coats that are classic and that you'll have for a long time. So just kind of going to point that out as well. Okay. So what? Yes. Oh, okay. So um, now let's talk about my favorite kind of coat, which is the statement coat. I'm going to take this off and then we're going to talk about it. so bad at this right now. Um, 
Okay, so this is obviously a statement code. Um, so there's a few things that make a statement code a statement code. Um, I think it could be something that has a fun color or an exaggerated proportion or a cool texture or a print or pattern or all of it. So for example, this coat is from Michael Kors and it pretty much has all of those elements. It is a total statement coat. It's a cool texture, it's an exaggerated proportion and it is a pattern. And I actually like to call jackets like this, I call them like outfit makers because you're wearing clothes but then you put on this jacket and it's like you have a look. You know what I mean? Without this, it's just a sweater and jeans. With this, like, I'm doing something here. So this is a total um, statement for me. But I feel like it's it's also important to look for things that, um, I don't know, that again, still thinking about the timeless aspect, things that you'll want to wear forever. Like, I don't think you should buy a coat just for one season. I feel like it is important to, um, I don't know, to just to, to find something that you will want to wear for, to you know, that you will want to wear for seasons to come. And you're not going to wear it every single day, but when you do wear it, it just like really gives your outfit like a kind of like an oomph. Um, I pulled one more statement coat. I mean, this, this coat kind of speaks for us. I feel like I don't need to explain it that much. You put it on with anything, it looks good. You put it on with like that amazing turtleneck, it looks good. With anything, it looks good. Um, ooh, with white, those white jeans, it would look really good. Um, okay, sorry, one more, putting it on. Okay, so this is another statement coat, obviously like on a bit of a, you know, less dramatic scale, but this is also by that brand LVIR that I really like. Um, it's sort of like this icy bluish gray color, which I think is really nice. Again, sort of one of those non-color colors that goes with everything, but still kind of, it gives a little something. I think this is really nice because it has the statement coat um, criteria. It has like an interesting shape. It has a kind of like funky color and it just um, it has like a nice texture. So I feel like this is also something that you could put on with a sweater and jeans and it would just really elevate. You could throw it on with um, a simple dress. You could, it's really just like, it's something that kind of like totally makes your outfit um, pop. And I mean, also a color like this, like I said, like a non-color color, this would also look pretty with like this, the brown totem turtleneck that I was wearing in the beginning, you know? Like these colors, it just, it, it kind of just like adds like a little something, but it truly, it does go with everything. Um, and I really, I really like it. So let's see, are there any other questions here? Any questions? <laughs> Oh my God, I wanna go shopping with everybody. I mean, this was also so fun to pick out all of these things. It is so fun to get to go through sacks and just grab what I like. It's really, it's a real treat. <laughs> um, okay, well, if you guys have any other questions about the things that I talked about, about coats, literally about anything um, fashion related, feel free to DM me. Um, this was really fun and I will see you again soon.